Hello everyone, welcome to your 17th Grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn uh, image sampling. So image sampling is basically, um, you have an image, like here we have Grasshopper definition. We have an image here and we want it to, like we insert it in Grasshopper and we want it to translate into shapes in Rhino. So let's start from zero. So first thing you want to do is actually create a plane. Now you can create any surface you want, it can be a curved surface, um, anything, anything you want that you want, like a, like um, a picture on it or an image on it. So this is the way how you do it in Grasshopper. So first thing you want to do is create a plane. So okay, let's start from zero. So you can just draw like any plane you have. Let's go planar surface. I have this plane, and then we'll open Grasshopper. So first thing you want to do is actually insert the surface to your Grasshopper. Right click, set on surface. And now what you want to do is right click, reparameterize, and internalize data. So internalize data allows you to actually delete it from Rhino and it's still like only in Grasshopper. So this is good. Next thing you want to do is divide your surface. So we want to actually have points in it like in the uh, UMV points. And uh, these points are like what will create, like we're going to make spheres on these points like to express the image we have. So just double click, type in slider, right click, edit, let's say I want it to be 50, and hit OK, and also here. So we have like grid, um, I'll keep this at 30. Okay, same thing for here. Okay. okay, 30 is fine. So next thing you want to do is actually write image and then you can have you can see something called image sampler. So once you have this, it looks a bit scary because like it has this exclamation mark and you don't know what to do. What you want to do is actually right click, write settings, and then here in file path, get your picture. Now when you choose your picture, make sure like it's Okay, for this demonstration, you have to make sure it's like really black and white and like it's very contrast, like you can see where's the black and you see what's white. So the simpler it is, the better. So whatever picture you have, make sure that like there's a huge contrast between your black and white. And what you want to do in channels is actually click this one, color brightness. When you click in it, like color is a bit lighter, like you're not sure if you're clicking or not. But if you can notice, like it's a bit, a bit brighter. So once you're done, just hit OK. And what I want to do is actually get a sphere, and this is like the spheres that are going to connect to our um, points here. So what I want to do is just connect the point to the um, the B or the base, and we can see we have here spheres. After that, you just want to connect your UV to your image sampler and the image sampler to the radius, and there you go. Now, um, and that's like pretty much how you do it. It's really easy. Um, just just um, preview the surface and you can see that we have our image here. Now, if you cannot, like if it doesn't work, my advice would be to either add more counts to your points, like in your count and your V count, or if here, like if you connect here and it doesn't work, now it works here because like, um, yeah, it just works. If it doesn't, you actually have to get um, a, for, like, um, a formula or evaluate. So just click evaluate and what you want to do is like just in case it doesn't work it's probably because the radius is zero and if the radius is zero then it's wrong like the sphere can never have a zero radius even if like one sphere is zero it's not gonna work so you gotta you have to actually get evaluate um, and then just we just need one definition so you can just zoom in and remove one and then right click and set it like x plus 0.02 okay so we just connect it here and here um what did I do what did I do oh 0.2 and it changes So yeah, you just have to connect it to a formula first, like insert it here to the F, and then just radius here. 
So it works here because like the the radius was not was not under um, zero or zero. Uh, so yeah, if it doesn't work, just insert this uh, evaluation formula here and just add something to x because like you have only x, so x plus uh, a very small amount would be enough, and then just connect it to the radius. Uh, either way, it's, it's just supposed to work um, if you're lucky automatically. So there's also other settings here, like we have colors, channels. Uh, I would advise to like check with other pictures if it's gonna work or not, and it's it's a really fun um, definition to play with. So uh, yeah, this is about it for image sampling. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.